Today we are going to solve division situations involving a unit fraction, such as one-fourth, divided by a whole number, such as two. Let's read the word problem. Mr. Stein is wrapping gifts for the holidays. He has one-fourth of a yard of ribbon. He uses this to make two bows. What fraction of a yard did Mr. Stein use to make each bow? What do we know after reading the word problem? We know that he starts out with one-fourth of a yard of ribbon. We also know that he uses the one-fourth yard of ribbon to make two bows. What do we have to figure out? Let's work backwards from the question mark. We need to figure out what fraction of a yard did Mr. Stein use to make each bow. A says use the number line below to represent the word problem. Let's mark this number line from 0 to 1 and then we need to split it into one-fourth parts. We're going to look at one-fourth piece. And we know we need to divide the one-fourth piece into two pieces. B says, write a division equation to describe the word problem. Label the numbers in the equation. We took one-fourth of a whole and divided that into two equal pieces. And when we look at that, we can see that each piece is now one eighth of a whole. Now we need to label. One-fourth is the starting ribbon. The two is the number of bows he makes with a one-fourth yard of ribbon. And our answer, one-eighth, is the amount of ribbon in each bow. C says to explain how the number line model shows the solution to the word problem and the division equation. The number line shows the solution because it takes the one-fourth ribbon he started with and divides it into the two bows he makes. The question at the bottom tells us to think about the solutions for word problem A, which we did on Monday, and word problem B that we did today. Why are the solutions to these word problems smaller than either of the other numbers in the word problem? The numbers in the solution are smaller than the numbers in the word problem because we are dividing a fraction into smaller pieces.